we finally got the winch installed on the Forerunner. But before we use it for the first time, we're gonna have to re-spool the line under tension. So that's what we're going to do today. We're gonna pull this line out till it's almost at the end. We're gonna leave about 10 wraps around the drum on the winch. I'm gonna hook it to the vehicle down there. And then we're gonna winch that vehicle in again to the Forerunner and that's going to load the line under tension. You're supposed to load about a thousand pounds of tension when you're re-spooling the line for the first time. So let's go hop in the Forerunner, show you what I'm going to do in there. Before we use the winch, we're going to start the engine up, let the Forerunner run, this way the battery is nice and charged when it's giving juice to the winch. I'm not going to keep the car in park, I'm going to actually put it in neutral and put the emergency brake down. I have the wheels chalked as well. All right, let's go free spool that line out to the other truck. I'm gonna reach my hand in here and, and disengage the clutch and put it to free spool. That's gonna allow me to pull this line out. We have about 90 feet of line, so we'll see if I'm far enough to this truck. So I have the tow strap hooked to the front two hooks right here. Those hooks are attached to the frame. I have that attached with soft shackles and I'm gonna soft shackle the winch line to the tow strap. I'm gonna back this truck up so we get a little bit of tension. I have no real hard connection points on here, so I'm trying to eliminate the possibility of a metal projectile flying in case something goes wrong. I have the factory recovery points attached with soft shackles. I have a soft shackle here, and I have just the eyelet here, or the thimble. I am gonna put a winch blanket on, just in case. So the truck's in neutral and I'm going to put the emergency brake on about halfway. That'll create tension when I'm spooling the line. We have the Forerunner started and in neutral with the parking brake down. I have the wheels chalked. The rope is wrapped 10 times around the drum as per the worn spec guide. I have some tension on the line right now. We have the vehicle down there in neutral with the parking brake on. I have the winch blanket and all soft shackles. So. I'm gonna turn this wireless remote on. I did re-engage the clutch after free-spooling it out. And we're gonna pull that truck towards us and put tension on the line and spool this guy up. The idea is to roll this line back and forth as we're spooling under tension. This way it's stacked nice and neat across one side and then it goes to the other side. After running the winch motor for about 30 seconds, it starts to get hot. It's supposed to let it cool after a 30 second run. That line is in close enough. I'm gonna disconnect everything and then we're just gonna run the line back in without tension. That's it, I got this little piece uh, off Amazon, just prevents the rope from going all the way in because I'm running this without a hook. That's the whole procedure. When you get the winch new, it's going to be pre-round. You're going to need to free spool it out and load it under tension as you re-spool it. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you.